this, that's for sure. Congressman, I want to get back to the, the flags flying at half mast for a second, if I can, because that picture that we showed at the beginning of this segment, you know, it's really symbolic to me of the time that we're in right now. And it kind of brings out a little sadness in me, too, because you do, this picture here, you do think of all of those family members, all the people out there who've lost loved ones to this virus, and they can't give them a proper goodbye. I mean, that that is hard. Well, was an expiration date of 2010. You're not supposed to hug and kiss and shake hands and touch each other. So people that are friends and, 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 and people that cared about these other individual human beings so much, we are literally not able physically to touch the way that human beings normally do. Um, and what I, I have said is maybe we can't physically touch because of having that personal spacing that we need on uh, our hearts and our minds and our souls touch together. Uh, this is going to be something we'll never forget in our lifetime. We've lost more people in New Jersey already than in 9-11. Um, this is a very, very difficult time. That flag, when it's half mass, that represents all the people, whether they are doctors, uh, first responders, bus drivers, people who are even supplying food, all those for people who are on the front line who are taking a chance for us as well and willing to actually, and some of them have lost their lives. It represents them as well.